Happy True God's Day, everyone. Today is January 1st, 2024. Right, Hank? Yeah. I went to bed. I was by myself, which I loved. We both loved it, didn't we? Yes. I like being by myself <laughs> on on uh, New Year's Eve, God's Day Eve. Because <sighs> for me, that's a time to reflect. And okay, next. <laughs> Uh, I want to say so much. Yes. Oh, do I make uh, God's Day resolutions or something? Uh, I always try. I always try to do what? To be better. Uh, to be better for myself and for others. Yes, of course. But my main goal always is to please God, my parental God, my heavenly parents, more. And, of course, always, we can, we can, we can make sure, we can get to the point as mankind, humans, to care for every child that is put in this world. Yes, we can. We can feed every mouth. We can have peace everywhere. We can. So, my practice this year as it has I've already done that but man it's not easy to do that so I'm gonna try again <laughs> I'm gonna try and practice that until it happens until I'm there because it brings me closer to God's heart I already know that even closer yes is uh, to find to see to good where there is yes we seem to, uh, well, to start with, we seem to celebrate everything, and there's a day for everything, this, and idolize, I don't know what, except for God. And God doesn't even require that. He doesn't want idolization, doesn't want, uh, it's not all about him, this or that, but It's definitely a big part of our world, of our of our state of mind. Yes. Mm. And um, to see the good that is around us. Yes. Yeah. The good that's within us too. Yeah. Let that shine. Yeah. I think. That's just about the only answer to all the things going on out there that saddens us, really grabs our heart in pain, yes? And often what do we do? We feed it, yes? We feed it rather than defeat it. <laughs> feed it rather than def yep. defeat it. So, we're going to defeat it, rather than feed it. Yes, okay. Anywho, God's Day. God's Day, we started to celebrate my family. I established with my husband in 1987. That's when I heard for the first time, there's a God's Day? Wait a minute, a true God's Day? Happy true God's Day? What is that? January 1st, yes? When I got to know what it was about, what God's Day? Huh? Well, what else is there? Right? <laughs> Pretty clear. 
I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I thought ah, that was better to me than true parents or the blessing or whatever went, all went with that jazz. Wait a minute. It took all this time for someone to come up with January 1st for many people around the world. Not all I know that. In the world, that's the first day of the year. New Year. To have that celebrated as God's Day. Wow. I, I was just, wow. And I kept it that way. In our family, my children all, they know, Mom's going to come again. <laughs> Happy True God's Day. We're not all into it. My family's not. My children, my husband, not everybody's into it like I am. That's fine. They respect it, though. Yes? And I get, uh, I will, from much as I say, Mom, happy true God's day. Yes, that thought is there. How wonderful is that? I'm not expecting more. Yes? Okay. Then our church, our movement, decided to change it to some other day. Right? And I said, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, but you have to know, I don't have to do anything I don't want to. <laughs> and I kept it. The first day, January 1st, of a new year, the first day of a new year, I dedicate, I celebrate God. Done. Mm. For me, that will never change. Yes. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, still suffering a little. Yeah, that's like my third roll here. It's cheaper than tissues, I can tell you that. Oh, maybe not. Well, there's more on it. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Blooming nose. And, interestingly enough, I went... I, I was tired... I'd worked yesterday, again here in the house. Yes, yeah. Did the poo poo too. Eee, broke a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving it around, I didn't know it was going to break. I fixed it though. Yes, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, well, it's one of those things, right? Again, going, oh God, how did I do that? And uh, I must have already, I, I don't know if it was or not. But I broke it. I broke the bed. I bro broke the bed frame off the rest of the bed on one side. So I had to go and get a big old cinder block out in the yard. And the stuff fit perfectly. You, can, you can't tell there's a problem. No, and I bet you that bed is even more stable now. Yes, yes, yes. Can't see it. More stable. Hey! Yeah, maybe it needed to break. So it won't break with someone else in it. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, haven't confessed to it yet, though. You. Oh, yeah, yeah, one could make up a story or this or that. Right? I don't do that. I used to do that many, many years ago still. You know, kind of tell the truth, but only part of the truth. And kind of, you know, so you're not going to get that. Ah, I don't do that anymore. Anyway. I haven't done that in a long, long time. I just, yeah, this is what happened. Mm, sorry, yeah, but I fixed it too. So anyway, uh, so we'll see. Uh, yeah. Anywho, <laughs> oh, so I fell asleep, <coughs> <coughs> and a coughing fit. Yeah, I did get it a little bit, but nothing like this is fine. And a coughing fit woke me up. And I thought, ah, oh, I gotta get up. I gotta get up. I gotta make a cup of tea. Gotta uh, 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 get me a cough drop going so I can go back to sleep. And I get up and I look, and it's just after midnight. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yes, yes. Just after midnight. So I didn't miss it. <laughs> kind of, right? The switch <laughs> from the last year to the new year uh, how wonderful 
Well, anyway, that's what I wanted to share this morning. Happy True God's Day. May He bless and protect you, and may you be a blessing and protection for people out there as well. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's going to be my uh, lead sentence this whole year. May you be blessed and be protected, and may you be a blessing and protection. Yeah, all right, good balance there. Ooh. All right, now ooh, let's go back to the Bible. The second book of Kings. Now we're in nine. The history of Yehu. Oh, by the way, there were two. Jeroboam's. Yes, yes, yes. I mixed that completely up. I kept keep forgetting that there's more than one king, and it did. I read it. I read it right there. Jeroboam of Judah, Jeroboam of the, the king of the people of Israel. Right? It's such a mess. Right? Yes, that I've become a mess. <laughs> Reading about the mess. So there were two. So I don't know. Jehoram. Not Jeroboam, it looks like. Said that wrong, too. But then that Omri king of Israel, still haven't figured that one out. Jehoram, yes, yes, yes. Jehoram, not Jeroboam. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, done that. Let's keep on going. Yes, there's probably going to be more things. I'm not kind of quiet, and you guys are going to, hey, wait a minute, you just said, but you just read. You didn't get that? Doesn't, yeah, sometimes I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe when I'm done reading the whole thing, you know, in a few years, I'll have to start over again. So, guys, let's do it again. Just to be, get farther, deeper, and I don't know what. <laughs> One never knows. Okay. Oh, Spirit World just said, now let us, let us see how you can apply... All right, so what? I'm not allowed to point out some things that are weird? or Okay, all right. Let's just work on that together. Oh. Can't get away. Once you say, ah. Yeah. It's easy for us to talk, right? For most of us. I'm, I mean, yeah, okay. It's easy for me to talk, okay? Mm. Point out the flaws, this and that. Mm. And then have, okay, we're not, I'm a, I want to try, uh, not just try, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, this, is, this is going to happen. I know this is what will make the difference. Yes? The one thing that will stop someone in their tracks from doing something that is probably not such a good thing to do or just is when one gets stomped over something. Yes? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't expect that reaction. That's what we have to find. The reaction to stop people in their tracks to what? Obviously not to do good. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Life's never boring. Anywho. All right, all right, let's get going. Yes, I heard you. Mm. Good to know. The history of Yehu. A disciple of Elisha anoints Yehu king. A disciple of Elisha? He had disciples? Okay, that's the, f the first I heard of that. Well, unless it's that brotherhood, right? Are they have become disciples now? But that didn't say beforehand. Nine. The prophet Elisha summoned a member of, <laughs> of the prophetic brotherhood to him. Hitch up your clothes, take this flask of oil, and go to Ramat and Gilead. When you arrive there, look for Yehu, son of Yehoshaphat, son of Nimshi. Ah, why didn't I not start writing this down? 
Then when you find him, tell him to get up and leave his companions and take him into an inner room. Take the flask of oil then and pour it over his head and say, Yahweh says this, I have anointed you king of Israel. Huh? Then open the door and flee as fast as you can. Ugh. Ugh. I'm all mixed up here now. All right, so but so there's another king. Okay, okay, okay. The young man left for Ramat and Gilead, and when he arrived, found the senior officers of the army sitting together. I have a message for you, commander, he said. For which of us? asked Yehu. For you, commander, he answered. Yehu then got up and went into the house. And the young man poured the oil on his head, saying, Yahweh, God of Israel, says this, I have anointed you king of Yahweh's people of Israel. You will strike down the family of Ahab, your master. And I shall avenge the blood of my servants, the prophets, and all of Yahweh's servants, on Jezebel and on the whole family of Ahab. I shall destroy every man jack of Ahab's family, feathered or free in Israel. I shall make the house of Ahab look Ahab like the house of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and of Baasha, son of Ahijah. As for Jezebel, the dogs will eat her in the field of Jezreel. No one will bury her. With this, he opened the door and made his escape. Okay. I can't see how. Being, I can't see God being any part, uh, having any part of this, or that God actually said this to anyone to go and do that, and then this is all going to happen. I can't see God do that. That's not the God I know. Well, maybe it was a different God at that time. Okay, lost me right there, guys. As he was then, he is now, and uh, uh new, and uh. I can't see on how, if the first thing that you wish on anyone, right, yes, I mean, Yehu didn't say, oh, okay, if I become king, then I'm going to do all this, and that, 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 right, no, here it is actually someone else anointing him and telling him on what's going to all happen to his predecessors as kings, and this, and that, his whole family, and, and that woman, you know, and na, 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 na. I can't see how a beginning like that, as a leader of the people, under God's guidance, how that's going to end well. I can't. That's why I know. War is just necessary, right? Because that's how you get rid of evil. Really? It's kind of the same thinking here. I don't think that's how God works. No, I know God doesn't work that way. Does not work that way. Yehu proclaimed king. Yehu came out to his master's office, officers. Is all well, they asked him. Why did this madman mad man come to you? They didn't know. They had no idea who he was. You know the fellow and how he talks? He answered, evasion, they cried. Come on, tell us. He replied, he said this and that to me. He said, Yahweh says this, I have anointed you king of Israel. Whereupon they all took their cloaks and spread them under him on the bare steps. They sounded the trumpet and shouted, Yehu is king. Wait a minute. How did they, hey, that madman, what did he say to you? Uh, this is what this madman said to me. And then they all bow down to him. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> lost me right there. That, that's all right. <laughs> all right. Yehu prepares to usurp power. Yehu, son of Jehoshaphat, son of Nimshi, plotted against Jehoram. At the time, Jehoram, with all Israel, was holding Ramoth and Gilead against an attack by Hazael, king of Aram. Oh, wait a minute. Again? 
But King Jehoram had gone back to Jezreel to recover from the wounds which he had received from the Arameans while he was fighting against Hazael, king of Aram. If you agree, Jehu said, let no one leave the town to go and take the news to Jezreel. Jehu then mounted his chariot and left for Jezreel. Jehoram had taken to his bed there, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, had gone down to visit him. All right. So there's two kings, one of Judah, one of Israel. They seem to get along all right. Go and check how the other one's doing. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I just can't figure things out together, it seems like. The lookout posted on the tower of Jezreel saw Yehu's troop approaching. I can see a body of men, he shouted. Yehoram gave the order. Have a horseman sent to meet them and ask, is all well? The horseman <laughs> went to meet Yehu and said, the king says is all well. What has it to do with you whether all is well? Yehu replied, that's just a messenger now. How is Yehu talking to that messenger? Well, he'll make a great king, won't he? Falling behind me, the lookout reported, the messenger has reached them and is not coming back. The king sent a second horseman who reached him and said, The king says, Is all well? What has it to do with you whether all is well? Yehu replied, Fall in behind me. The lookout reported he has reached them and is not coming back. The manner of driving is like that of Yehu, son of Nimshi. He drives like a madman. Now he's the madman. <laughs> Harness, Jehoram cried, and they harnessed his chariot. Then Jehoram, king of Israel, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, each in his chariot, set out to meet Jehu. They reached him in the field of Nabot of Jezreel. I thought that Jehoram, king of Israel, was sick. He was recuperating from his wounds and was in his bed. Here he is in a chariot. All right, all right. The assassination of Jehoram. As soon as Jehoram saw Jehu, he asked, Is all well, Jehu? What a question, he replied. When all the while the prostitutions and countless sorceries of your mother Jezebel go on. Oh! Well, there must have been more going on. They're not telling us everything here. Either that or it's just made up and they couldn't come up with more. Oh, at this, Jehoram wheeled and fled saying to Ahaziah, Treason, Ahaziah! But Yehu had drawn his bow. He struck Jehoram between the shoulder blades. The arrow went through the king's heart, and he sank down in his chariot. Pick him up, Yehu said to Bidkar, his equerry. And equerry. I need to go find out what the word means exactly. It's probably attendant, a special attendant, whatever, bodyguard. And throw him into the field of Nabot of Jezreel. Remember how when you and I manned a chariot together behind Ahab, his father, Yahweh pronounced the sentence against him. This I swear, yesterday I saw the blood of Nabot and the blood of his sons. Yahweh says this, and in the same field I shall requ requite, requit, requit you. Yahweh says this, so pick him up and throw him into the field as Yahweh declared should happen. All right, so it happened because somebody said this was going to happen, so somebody made it happen. Okay. The assassination of Ahaziah. When Ahaziah, king of Judah, saw this, he fled along the Beth Hagan road. But Yahu, Yahu went in pursuit of him. Strike him down too, he said. And it wounded him in his chariot at the slope of Gur, which is near Ibliam. And he took refuge in Megiddo, where he died. His servants carried him in a chariot to Jerusalem, buried him in his tomb in the city of David. Ahaziah had become king of Judah in the eleventh year of Jehoram, son of Ahab. Okay. Oh, looks like they're both dead. The assassination of Jezebel. When Yehu went back to Jezreel, Jezebel was told. She made up her eyes with mascara, adorned her head, and appeared at the window. 
As Yehu came through the gateway, she said, How did Zimri get on after killing his master? Oh. Yehu looked up to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And two or three officials looked down at him. Throw her down, he said. They threw her down, and her blood spattered the walls and the horses, and Yehu rode over her. He went in and ate and drank, and then said, See to this accursed woman and give her burial. After all, she was a king's daughter. But when they went to bury her, they found nothing but her skull, feet, and hands. They came back and told Yehu, who said, This is the word of Yahweh, which he spoke through his servant, Elisha the Tishbite. The dogs will eat the flesh of Jezebel in the field of Jezreel. The corpse of Jezebel will be like dung spread on the fields, so that no one will be able to say this was Jezebel. That's the end of nine. <coughs> now, <coughs> so, <coughs> interesting ending of Jezebel here, and interesting on how Yehu says, oh, she's a princess after all, let's, you know, bury her properly, after she's done what, and all this, I'm not getting it. And what about those kings? Now, he had no problem on throwing the one, which was it, Jeroham, 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 I can't say it. And have him thrown into a field. Now, he was a king. Why not give him as the king a proper burial, too, even though, right? I find that weird. What kind of a power did that Jezebel have? To create such havoc when it comes down to it. Go against God's will in so many different ways. No one said anything. Yehu had to come along. Take this. Okay, we're done. Right? Done with this. Okay. Yes, why did I say that? Is that the right way to do it? Yeah, I guess it was their way at that time. I don't know. I guess we'll find out how well uh, Yehu... King Yehu is going to do now, right? Yes, we'll find out. So, there you go. The massacre of the royal family of Israel. My, yeah, 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 yeah. The royal family. How did they become all royal? How did this start out? Huh? Shepherd in the field. Oh, okay. What, how about the other one? Yeah, not much better. The first one. Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. I <laughs> oh, can't remember that one's name. Anyway, so there it is. Uh, I would say, I've said this many times, that to just go after someone on the surface because you can, right? Yes. Uh, like, well, say, let's take Yehu and, and Jezebel. He went after her, right? Okay, first went after the guys, then after her. And uh, that's going to solve all the problems that the Israelites have amongst each other and yeah, the main thing that's going to get them closer to God to become God's people well they already are God's people are they just wondering and uh, it seems like killing someone Going to war against someone is just a, one of those quick fixes, either way, right? Yes? But is it really addressing the root of the problem? I believe that in the way that God wants to teach us, is always through keeping life 
of anyone. as a sacrament and so right what if you can't kill someone you can't do that anymore just say you can't you will have to figure out another way or you have to give your life and that is that what if just instead of huh, just always going for the quick fix and everything we try a little harder I huh? said to do what oh. stomp someone stomp stomp not literal stomping right? to surprise someone huh? into stopping from what they're doing through our own right? trying to have some proper give and take yes right and proper I think for January 1st the first day of the year to be God's day to wish people a happy true God's day is right and proper Yes, yeah. I love it. I don't want it to be another day. No, I don't. I want it to be the first day of the year. And the reason I want it to be the first day of the year is because people will remember the first day of the year. Everybody remembers the first day of the year. Yes, yeah. I don't remember many different days out there. And it's someone's birthday. So happy birthday to everyone. Because every day someone will have a happy birthday too, right? Boy, if you're born on January 1st, my goodness. Born on God's Day. That's amazing. Of course, every day is God's Day. Yes? Oh, do people know that though? Oh. All right. Well, anyway. So. January 1st, 2024, I wish you all a happy, true God's Day. <laughs> Can you imagine? Everybody around the world were to wish our parental God. Father in heaven, our heavenly parents, a happy true God's day. Eh? Yes, celebrating January 1st. I think that would make him glow. <laughs> <laughs> He's glowing right now. <coughs> <coughs> but can you imagine? And we'd all glow with our Creator. <laughs> gonna happen people I just know it yes yep. you got to believe all right may you be blessed and protected and may you be a blessing and protection and I will talk to you all another time